Time to brush up on my ground game. Will it be a win or a gala fail? Greetings Clashers, it is your host Galadon. You are watching Clash of Clans Attacks. Recently in the comments, you guys said you wanted to see more of a variety of strategies. So today I've got my feet back on the ground and we've got a number of replays to share. So we will start out with my personal favorite, probably the attack I've run most frequently since I've played this game, and that is Go We Wipe, a golems, wizards, witches, and P.E.K.K.A. You can see the golems moving in along one side of the village, wizards in behind clearing those surrounding structures, wall breakers opening that path towards the town hall. Now I don't usually lure the clan castle troops, I count on a well-placed lightning spell. Unfortunately here, I do not get the most critical troop out of the way, the witch, and then a little more rust showing on the attack. Attack. Not a great placement on the jump spell too far to the outside It is still going to catch that inside wall, but it looks a little sketchy for a minute now Finally, I get that clan castle witch out of the way. There we go got the first rage spell down Everybody headed where they're supposed to just a little bit worried about the defending queen Will I be able to take her out? Will she hide behind that last wall? Nope, she jumps over it We chase her down she is gone and then I've dropped the last rage spell and all of my units run out of it to go chase down the king but here they come, they're coming back, taking out the Tesla. It's going to get that multi-targeting Inferno out of the way. Unfortunately, at this point, yes, the single targeting Inferno is on my king. He doesn't have much time left. Gets maybe a shot in on the Town Hall before he's down, but lots of other units there to help. The Town Hall goes down very quickly, 40% damage, and now those units on the inside are not going to get any more structures down. We're going to have to count on the Queen and the units we held in reserve. You can see here we've still got a Golem up around the outside, so I'm going to deploy these Wizards and hope that those defenses will be successfully distracted by that Golemite. He does go down. The Wizards get through just maybe one structure or so. Quickly, we're at 47 percent damage the queen looks like she might get another structure out of the way and because she's worked her way over there we've got a few unprotected structures around the outside and it'll be those barbarians and archers held for the last second that will get those last two structures down get to 50 percent and get the second star so not the prettiest of attacks, but it does get the job done nonetheless. So we will move on and try to work some of the rust out of my Go Wee Wee, Golems, Wizards, and Witches. And in this case, we have no P.E.K.K.A., so the critical thing we're looking for here is a village that preferably has two single-targeting Infernos. Those multi-targeting Infernos can just be terrible. Work it on Witches and specifically all of the skeletons that they are generating. So we keep looking until we find a village that has two single-target Infernos, and here we are in an eight trophy offer by that player there from that clan and his heroes are sleeping but we will take it every little advantage that we can get to tilt the odds in our favor now we've got a jump spell and wall breakers don't necessarily need them if we went after the single wall on the top left but we're going to come from the very top of the screen instead and uh, see if we can jump the way the rest of the way in coming around here with the golems triggering a skeleton trap but it won't matter they'll go after the golem and the uh, wizards will take them out right away here come the wall breakers to open that enclosure to get us in there and that is not quite going to get it open but it's not time to panic we've got plenty of time to just take it slowly wait for the units to get that corner wall out of the way we're going to go ahead and drop the clan castle to help out with that eventually when we get that open then we will drop the jump spell then the rest of the troops can head on in there's the jump spell allowing access to that other enclosure where the mortar is and the uh, town hall now here come the heroes, everybody else moving in. The king unfortunately has wandered way off to the right. The queen has followed the witches and that is a good sign. A massive skeleton army working its way in. So the queen hopefully will come in there. She has joined the party. We went ahead and froze the expo and the Teslas just to try to help the witches get in a little more deeply, a little more quickly. The queen under that rage spell doing a lot of damage. There we go, massive units on the town hall. There goes the Town Hall. That is the first star, 39% damage. Lots of units still in the center. Not quite going to take out as many structures in the center as we had hoped, though. Have to use the Queen's special ability, the King's special ability as well. And it is the King around the bottom right of the village that is going to do a lot of damage. Get us a second star, and there it is, a two-star attack with Go Wee Wee. Some signs of rust showing on that attack though when I froze that Expo and Tesla rather than right next to it, a wizard tower and a mortar. Definitely want to try to freeze splash damage when you can, especially with an army of witches and skeletons at your side. 
So next up we've got pure go wipe, golems, wizards, and P.E.K.K.A. And although the units will change from attack to attack, you see the fundamentals remain the same. Spreading out the golems to distract, using the wizards to clear surrounding structures, getting the wall breakers in to open that outer layer of walls, and then having that jump spell ready, finding a good spot for it so that it gives you access all the way to the town hall and prevents any major bunkered defenses or bunkered units. And so there is the jump spell. There is the perfect path to the town hall. Almost all of the surrounding structures are down. So we know exactly, well, almost exactly where the units are going to go. Come on, queen. No, get back here. And this time the king goes in, the queen goes around. And uh, it is always tough to predict with that ranged ability. There we can see close up the defending clan castle getting lightninged out of existence. The witch is down and shortly thereafter should go the town hall. There it is. The town hall is history. And uh, this is actually working out pretty well because this time we've got the queen on the outside taking out extra percentage point structures. The king and the P.E.K.K.A. on the inside wiped out that town hall quickly, quickly, quickly. Did I just say quickly? Quickly, we are up to 47% damage. And there is the second star for 50%. King still going strong. Queen at the top of your screen. And we'll let the attack run out a little bit longer. We have a lot of troops still up. But as we pan out, you'll notice we've got two expos, a mortar and a wizard tower that are still there in the way. Definitely not a chance at three stars. But a pretty solid two-star attack as we wrap it up. Six more trophies. Last but not least, we've got Go Vape, Golems, Valkyrie, and Pekka. Valkyrie being some of the most underrated, underutilized troops in the game. Ideal for those grouped structures getting in between damaging multiple buildings at a time. Here come the wall breakers. We've got that enclosure open. Valkyrie, just two Valkyrie on the inside, taking out pairs of structures at once. There they are working on that elixir storage and gold mine. And now with a jump spell, we've got the perfect path straight to the town hall. The clan castle is deploying defensively. That should help draw all of the units in and then inexplicably the king goes off to the left with the queen as well they've decided that is the next closest structure i have no idea the king he actually turns around it looks like maybe he's pursuing the defending king he's pacing back and forth can't make up his mind the pekka on the inside along with the golems are actually going to do all of the work there goes the town hall with absolutely no help from the heroes the king is off to the left the queen has gone way off to the right both of them completely misbehaved behaving naughty royals but the town hall goes down and we are already at 40 percent damage we've hit the king's special ability and he will go through a few more structures at the top the queen at the bottom another golem finally finding its way back into the fray and these units are just not going to quite be able to get to that second star the queen working on that elixir storage but she is going to go down to that inferno tower and the cannon before she can get another structure stuck at 49 percent we've got the golem working on the the inferno tower that's not going to happen does not quite get that out of the way either but yes as usual we saved a few archers and barbarians just trying to find an easy quick structure to take out of the way we distract with the remaining barbarians deploy the last of the archers take out the builder's hut get the second star for 50 percent and we can wrap up another two-star victory so thanks you guys again for the comments on the videos. I had almost forgotten how much fun it was to try those ground attacks. It is always fun to mix things up. Thanks again for watching. Please do watch my other videos when you have the chance. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and again, leave those comments of what you want to see in the future. You know I read them all. I appreciate every last one of you guys, and I will see you tomorrow with more full attacks. Gally Don, I'm glad you appreciate my subscribers. And speaking of appreciating subscribers here, we've got a recent comment on one of my videos by DJ Stathis of the clan Cypress Base. Let's go check him out. Check out his clan. Uh, they want active war players. They hate hoppers. They keep a list. That is probably a good idea. Uh, there he is, number 14, co-leader. Great donations there. So let's go check out his village. Uh, farming Town Hall 9 at the bottom of your screen. He's uh, well protecting that dark elixir, the regular elixir and the gold. Looks like he has a lot for the stealing. Uh, working on upgrading that queen. One of the expos, the DE storage as well. Uh, expos, good setup. I like how he has his storages spread throughout the village, so it's going to be difficult to get all of them unless you completely wipe him out. A uh, good balance on the mortars, the wizard towers, and those air defenses as well. 
a pretty good layout of the base and a good job on upgrading those walls. So thank you again for the kind comment, DJ. Leave your comments below if you guys want to be considered for a base review, and I will see you again next time.